in this topic uh, we want to show you how to configure Profibus subnet over uh, CP342 into a portal. The reason of using CP uh, for uh, Profibus subnet is that uh, if the CPU doesn't support the Profibus you need to use a communication processor to enable the CPU to communicate on that subnet or network. Um, the next uh, reason is that we use CPUs in case of uh, if you, you want two or three DP masters on the same uh, automation station we can use several CPUs with the master capability to connect with several uh, slaves. Uh, these are the, res uh, the reasons to use uh, uh, this uh, this CP for Profibus connection. Uh, the first example here is to connect the uh, the CP with the uh, modular slave DP slave. One of the, uh, the modular slaves is ET200M. Uh, we will do that in the um, tier portal environment. The first step is to create a new project and uh, in this project we add a new CPU S7300 uh, the CPU that uh, doesn't have the DP capability it, it, uh, this CPU doesn't have the DP port we select this CPU and uh, well, we need to complete this uh, hardware uh, configuration we need to add the power supply here and uh, the CP from communication modules Profibus and this is the, uh, the CP that we want to add I'll save the project and uh, the next step uh, we should go to net network view add a new subnet and here we need to uh, we need to add um, 80, uh, 200 m distributed io e2 200m here over Profibus. First, uh, we should go to the CP and uh, change the operating mode of the CP to DP Master. And it's in DP Master, so the CP is operating in DP Master. Then we go to uh, the uh, network view here and uh, we assign the slave to the uh, to the the master to the DP master here. So DP uh, master and a slave connection is finalized here, and uh, the next step is to add uh, devices on the ET200M. Based on um, our um, project we need to write some values in into outputs and read some values from uh, inputs and uh, in our design we should uh, insert um, digital outputs first I select this uh, digital output and uh, put two modules in uh, nearby each other uh, 32 uh, digital output two of the two of the modules support uh, 64 uh, bits of digital output and the same for digital input di and we put two of the 
two of these modules to create uh, 64 uh, digital input signals. Uh, it's possible to check the addresses. The start address is zero, uh, Q00 and the end address for this module is Q3.7 and for here we have Q4.0 uh, till Q7.7 64 bits here, 64 uh, bits here. Uh, the main point here is that you cannot directly access the uh, inputs and outputs of uh, slaves that are connected with via uh, proof of CP and you need to use functions to, to do that. Uh, to fetch the correct function you should go to communication and communication processors Semantic Net CP and uh, for Profibus we have uh, DP Send and we have DP Receive. Uh, here we want to write to the O. And here we want to read from the I. From di, some uh, we need uh, to f to fill um, fill uh, some of these uh, parameters. Uh, the main parameter that um, uh, you, sh you should know is CPL address. For that, you should go to the device configuration. Right click on the the DP port and uh, in IO address you you can find the start address uh, you, you need to enter this value in form of hex uh, in hex form and you need to change the decimal value of 256 to the hex uh, format uh, it's 100 in hex format uh, very easily. Uh, to make the programming easier, I create some DBs. The first is for sending. First one is CPL in word format. CPL address in word format. And the value, a start value, you can write the start value here, 100 in hex format. Uh, the next uh, um, section is the value that uh, should be sent. We can, uh, we can select the data in array format, array. Zero till sixty-three of boolean because we have uh, sixty-four bo uh, four bits on the uh, digital output, and uh, we can write these values in the program, and uh, uh, by using the DP send function, we send them on the uh, the physical module. You can see the uh, the structure here. Data in the array is sent on the actual digital at output module by using the the function the percent function. And we need the two binary and one status. I think it's in word.
yeah, it's the status is in word format. So we had the status in board format as a, as the output and two binary signal the first one is error and the second one is done second one is done the save and we need to fill the values SND point point CPL is used for CPL address and SND point data SND point data is used uh, as data that should be sent to the output. SND point done, SND point done here. SND point error, SND point error, and SND point status, SND point status. Well, the first uh, section is finished to write values to digital output. The next step is to uh, filling the to completing the DB for sending part for DP, uh, for receiving part. The next step is to filling or creation or creating the DB for receiving part. Uh, this, uh, this is the receiving part, read data from inputs. And you need to create a data structure to read uh, inputs from digital input to the data. Uh, it is very easy to make a copy of the send, uh, to this, uh, make a copy of the send uh, data structure change the name to rcv rcv change the db number to db2 everything is done here but we need to change something cpl is okay data is okay status is okay cpl rcv we need to change the uh, this data okay we need to change some of these um, NDR instead of done we should change this to NDR and um, we have a status and DP status I think it's in a byte format DP status DP status DP stat in byte format. Save and uh, we need to fill RCV point CPL CPL. We use the same uh, CP to receive data and RCV point data point data this is the the area that all of the 64 uh, digital inputs are uh, copied you can read this uh, these values here and use them in your program rcv point ndr here rcv point error are point error and rcv 
point status and RCV DP status RCV point DP status well uh, we finalized uh, the hardware configuration and the user program to read uh, to to read four bytes uh, to read uh, eight eight bytes of data from digital input and to write eight uh, bytes of data to digital outputs. Um, if you have the hardware and you want to function test the input data will be available here if you go online and it's possible to uh, energize or de-energize the digital output signal based on this pattern. I hope you find something helpful here and the next video will be how to use this CP for uh, Profibus Master and IS Slave communication. Please uh, subscribe us on the social media and I hope you find something new here.